Would you like to learn exactly how to blog for affiliate marketing leads generation? Hi everybody, Joe Barkley here from JoeBarkley.com. Coming to you again from our home on beautiful Loon Lake in the Adirondacks of Northern New York. And in this video, I'm going to share just how to blog for affiliate marketing leads generation. I've been doing it for years and I will go over the basics and the fine details too. Then in just a minute, we'll jump over to the computer and use my blog, JoeBarkley.com, as an example. But first, just what is a blog? Well, a blog is a website that is updated regularly. For years, they've been used for both personal and business use. For this video, we will focus on using a blog to build your business. What I will share works the same for both network marketing and affiliate marketing. My blog is my favorite tool for attraction marketing and lead generation. And it is the ideal way to brand and promote you. Thanks to my blog, I actually have people contacting me asking about joining my business. Man, that's refreshing after spending years chasing prospects down. What makes it so powerful is that with the right blog, you develop a relationship with people, they get to know, like, and trust you, and it sure beats spending a fortune on lousy solo ads or buying overworked leads from a lead vendor. And because the conversion rates on leads from my blog are so high, it doesn't take nearly as many leads either. I'm convinced that a blog is a tool almost all network marketers and affiliate marketers should have. However, there is one fact you need to be aware of, and it's one that most people won't tell you. Blogging can take a long time to get consistent results. If you're starting a brand new blog with a brand new domain, it might be months before you see fresh new leads each day. So you'll want to be sure to have another lead strategy in place in the meantime. However, building and maintaining an affiliate marketing blog is simple and affordable. Even without much experience, anyone can do it. But it is work, it does take time, and it is an ongoing project if you want the best results. Let's take a minute and talk about what you need to build an effective blog. The first thing you need is a domain name. That's the address of your website or blog that people type into their browser to find you. I feel all serious network marketers and affiliate marketers should own the domain name of their name. It's the most effective way I know of to brand and promote you. For example, the domain name for my blog is joebarclay.com. I've had it almost since the beginning of the internet. Domain names are cheap, less than $20 per year. If you do not own the domain name of your name, I suggest you go out and buy it right now, even if you're not plan on blogging at this time. The next item you'll need is hosting. Hosting provides the place your blog will live on on the internet. Good hosting is affordable too. It's only a few dollars per month. One warning about hosting though. Several online marketing packages provide a blogging service as part of their system. I strongly suggest that you do not do this. You want a freestanding blog using your own hosting. There are many companies online providing domain names and hosting. It is competitive. For years, I've done everything through GoDaddy. I found their pricing right and their service excellent. And no, this is not an affiliate pitch. Once you have your domain name and hosting set up, you will need to install WordPress. WordPress is the free software that runs your blog. It's easy to use. You can install it quickly, even if you are a beginner. Once you have WordPress installed, you will see several themes to choose from. This is a group of files that sets up the look or design of your blog. And if you don't see something you like, there are many more available, both free and low cost. If you pick something outside the stock themes, they are easy to install. Now it's time to actually start building your blog. Let's jump over the internet and use my blog as an example as I go over the elements that make up a good blog. Okay, this is my blog, JoeBarkley.com. And I don't claim to have all the answers, but my blog generates a lot of free leads, and I'm just using this as an example. And if you have any suggestions on improving my blog, I'd love to hear them. One of the most important parts of your new blog is the header. This is the big graphic across the top of each page. I encourage you to include your photo in the header to help brand and promote you. This header is a few years old, but I hate to change it as people are used to seeing it, even though I have a few more gray hairs now. You can create a header yourself. A great free resource is Canva, 
and I use it a lot. You can also get a nice header made for only a few dollars using the freelance artists on Fiverr.com. That's F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. As for the actual content of the blog, the main elements are pages, the sidebar, and the blog posts. SEO or search engine optimization is a key part of a good blog. That's a topic in itself and I will cover that in an upcoming video soon. So be sure to subscribe to my channel right now using the button below. So for example, on my blog, I have a home page. This is the home page right here. I have an about me page. And it's exactly that, more about me. And my tracking shows it's one of the most viewed pages on the blog. I have a contact me page. This page now uses a form people fill out to reach me. Years ago, I used to include my email and phone number. <laughs> you sure don't want to do that today. It will get sold all over the internet. And then I have a work with me page with information about me mentoring you and a little generic info on my business to pique interest. All of the blog posts appear in reverse order on another page here. Lastly, the sidebar. This column on the side of the page, and I use it for an opt-in form to build my list. I use it for a search box. And I like to put a list of recent posts. You may have noticed that I try and include photos where I can on both my blog posts and pages. Again, I'm trying to get people to know me. Many of the contacts I receive mention a photo. Uh, for example, people say something like, hey, we love sailing too. It's a great way to find common ground with prospects. As for the actual blog posts, use them to provide value rather than a blatant pitch. But you don't need to be bashful about including a link for more information either. As for what's blog about, my most read posts help people solve a problem. And understand that in the beginning, you'll need to plan on at least one new post per week. Okay, I'm back. I hope this video helps you know how to blog for affiliate marketing leads generation. Now you can generate a daily supply of fresh, high converting leads for your network marketing or affiliate marketing business for free. For more sources of the best free leads for affiliate marketing, I recently posted a video detailing the top three. I'll put a link to that video up here. And speaking of affiliate marketing, I encourage you to check out my number one recommended affiliate marketing income stream. It pays out a whopping 80% commissions and has recurring income too. 80% and you can get started for only $25. Just click the link below to learn more. I'm pretty busy, but if you like what you see, I will mentor you personally. You can read this and many more marketing tips at my blog at joebarclay.com. While you're there, be sure to pick up a copy of my free ebook. It will show you how to cut years off the learning curve and take the fast track to success by copying what works. And to stay up to date with my latest videos and proven marketing tips, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Again, I'm Joe Barclay. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.